Oops, I was supposed to slide that in too, <laughs> not just do that. Oh my goodness, goodness. Good morning, everyone. I'm just double checking that things are working right and there's something that hasn't because I couldn't sign in. And that was to my YouTube for some reason. I have had a few technical issues this morning at the moment, so I'm still just sorting them out. Uh, whether it's been a Facebook change, I actually don't know. So I'm trying to find where this is live on my, my time as well. So I'm assuming that that is happening because I have got some people here in the background and I've just got to... Oh, gee, at some point it will happen when I've got everything in the right place right on. Good morning, Sharon. How are you? And uh, We've got Kat here this morning. Wonderful to see you. Um, we've got Stevie already, so it's lovely to see you as well. And this is what I had happened because I went and cleared all my cache and all that sort of stuff that you do, you know, technical stuff, restarted the computer from scratch, almost a cold hard bit, whatever you call it, in those old days when we used to do that. And just signing back into stuff hasn't worked out like it should have. But we are here for the reading of the cards again this morning. It is just past the eight o'clock. So, oh, whoops. I'm going to switch over. Here we go. Is the cards. And oopsie, I forgot to actually even set it up properly <laughs> where you can see them all properly. There, that's a bit better. What I did do was go around and close the windows. It's going to be a hot day. And uh, so I've closed the curtains and I've done the similar to here. So it does look a little darker than usual. Now, hopefully we've got the sound working right and we'll get along with it. The usual card deck. We've got the Gilded Reverie Lenneman and it's the expanded edition. I just love it. So we'll just put that to the side. That's my website, is the rosbounder.com.au, and I'll be working on that today to finesse it even further. So we've got the heart-shaped cards again in the, in the new spread that I've uh, created there. So there we go. And that central card being the clouds today. So that's very interesting because at the moment it's absolute blue sky outside. I've done the watering of the garden and all that sort of stuff. And good morning, Shaz. And I bet you've done your watering already too. So um, it is blue skies at the moment. So that's what we're going to be clearing our day to is the beautiful blue skies. Now, what we've got, it's the moon cycles that's coming into it. Good morning, Sarah. I do have the dual simulcasting happening. So some that are, you might not see what are the comments on the mytimetv.live because that's using VLive. Okay, so here we are. We've got the moon to start with and the young man and the dog. So it's all that love and loyalty coming in, the way that things move in the cycles. <laughs> I can see that comment, Shaz. What? I was in the garden? Yes, I was. And I've also had some nice fresh nectarines from the tree that there was a couple on the ground that I thought, oh, they look all right, you know. It's not a five-second rule, but they were clean and they were edible. Um, so I have had those. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll have to put that up. I do have to put that up. It's proof. Yes, I was in the garden. <laughs> so here we go. Moon, cycles that happen. We're around to another cycle very shortly. I think of the new moon. I haven't looked at the date, but I know it is that time for the weeding and getting rid of stuff. So, uh, yeah, that is what it, it, what you do. Up from a moon, full moon to a new moon, you weed and clean out and do that sort of stuff in the garden. So I've been doing that, but we're, we're in a cycle of coming through into this new energies, new year, all that that's bringing to us, and it's we're carrying what is that playfulness and the um, the playfulness, the loyalty, the love, because as you, as you can see quite definitely with this heart-shaped spread that my theme, it really is moving from that place of love. So we have had some time for reflection and looking back. 
and we're bringing that into what our day is for today. So, of course, this is always going to be what we're bringing into our day. It is the reminder of the cycles and we've got that as the, you know, the opposing part there is actually the ring in that um, circle, that effect. So we've got some work to do, yes. Today is a little bit of a mishmash as far as this present moment. There is the work with the bear in that that position of uh, getting things moving, happening. Um, the paddling, you know, there the, he, she is swimming in the water, icy cold water, but they're designed for that environment. So we need to bring ourselves into what our design is, who we are in our environment, in our space and family. We do naturally attract things to us that are um, what we're needing for the work that we do. And it doesn't necessarily mean the work that is our paid work either. It's what we feel that we are needing to be doing for fulfilment, for the things that we enjoy doing and remembering to keep that in that playful mind as well. Here we've got the fox um, and that, that helps to clear us actually to get that, that energy shifting because clouds do shift. They don't stay there in the skies forever. They don't stay in our moods forever. They don't, they're, they're not a permanence. They're just mobile. They bring in what's needed for the rain and the energy of that form of, you know, the darkness and the things, the shadows and that, that with the emotional side. But in the physical side, it is the rain and it's the darkness that comes over the land because it needs to have the cycles. We really do need the cycles to keep moving through. So we are moving through that time of bringing forward into this year, you know, something that is new and into today because this is the spread for today, remember. So tune into what you've got telling you in that center, you know, in your heart space. Tune into what your messages are giving you as far as releasing, letting it clear, let the wind blow it through so that we've actually got our sunshine and blue skies. It certainly is the blue skies today and it's going to be a warm day. So here we, well, that's here in the Southern Hemisphere in South Australia as far as their predictions go with what the weather forecast is. That's on that more physical level. What are you feeling that you've got within your own bureau of meteorology, that inner gauge, <laughs> what you feel that is coming forward for you? You need to actually allow trust and, you know, just suss into it for yourself what it's actually speaking to you about. Because you know your situation the best of anyone, really. Sometimes that mind matter that we, you know, that the I sometimes I do call it the monkey mind. We overthink things. Here we've got the fox that's not been successful on this trip, moving away, looking back and thinking, what do I do next? It really is that that and don't overthink it for the day today. Just regroup, rethink, let the clouds clear out of the mind so that you do have the clear thinking for what you're about to do, what you're planning for today, okay? Now, make a commitment to yourself that you will allow that trust in you. There's gems within that sometimes we don't take the time, we don't spend that time with really analysing and what, you know, what we actually need that keeps it simple because a circle is the simplest form, isn't it? It just goes round and round and round. You don't have to think about it too much. It is a circle. And good morning, Karen. How are you? Lovely to see you here. So use that um, image, you know, that here we've got the moon. The moon is a round circle. It goes through cycles. So we've got that. Commit to yourself today. You know, have that, have that where it is. You're the one that's living with you the most all the time you know so it's something you can't get away from is yourself so look into that peacefulness that you can actually create you yes it takes some work in the thinking that you're going to need to bring that peace into your um, mind bring that peace into your actions bring that peace uh, from what you've come into today with which is all of that and even other, you know, that as in the cycles that you feel like you've done it again and again and again. Well, that is what life is sometimes. We can pick up and create work out of it or we can actually move through it with peace and a, 
a wonderful flow. And we do bring, we do have a well of resources that each and every one of us has that's specific for us, that is special for us, that is going to be unique. Good morning, Karen. It's lovely to see you here this morning. Um, so use that little wheel that's at the side. Yet there does seem to be a little bit of work in today, but that's fine. That's what life is about. It is the work, the rest, the play. It's the experiences of every little aspect that we can have in our lives. Some can be more dominant than others. It depends on how we're looking at it and what we've actually got in our bucket at the time. So here we have the bucket over the well ready for us to work that handle and bring up what we need to have for using throughout our day and that's today because this is what the reading's for so just keep in mind as you're moving through your day today yes there is a bit of work to be done but what things do come up in what feels like it's heavy stuff or dark stuff or you know the there are times where we can feel a little depressed and sad and, and things like that but that gives us that contrast to be able to fully appreciate when we have the sunshine and the, cloud, the clouds clearing, the sunshine moving through and bringing us those beautiful blue skies. So, oh, good morning. How are you? And I think that might be Kerry Ann. I just had the notice pop up there. So, good morning to you. So, overall, I really do think. Um, because we have that heart shape, keep in mind that we are a, a, a physical body, yes, but we are a soul within this body. We have love. We have that sense of, of a connection, that sense of relationship with others all the time because we don't think of ourselves as just totally alone being the only person in this world, on this globe. We are always in relationship of some sort with other people. So feel that love and connection with others. Grow that love and connection with others. And the best way to do that is being the best you. Um, so follow that path that you're following. Good morning, Fiona. And really sense into who you are as you're moving through your day. What are you learning through the day? How can you best serve others at the same time as serving yourself and your journey in your life to be that best person? So hopefully that's helpful for you this morning. And I really am hoping that tomorrow morning we're going to have a glitch-free, technology-free, smooth, very smooth start to our spread reading, card spread reading. And um, not 100% sure. I'm not sure if I'm even on YouTube at the moment. But anyway, I'll fix, I'll try and have a look at these technical issues. And uh, thank you so much for being here. Um, somehow, do I have that there? I don't know. Um, I was going to put, oh, look, it's up the top. <laughs> there it is. Um, have a look at the, keep an eye on the Rosboundy.com AU as far as the website goes because I do have, um, mod, I'm doing mods on that, trying to get it all consistent and everything. So we'll see and put a few new uh, little product thingies in there or products and services, whatever, readings, that type of thing. So keep an eye on that and my Rosboundy page here in Facebook. So thank you for being here and we'll see you tomorrow morning. You keep being the best that you can be. Namaste.